how to create this kind of a scene inside of Unreal Engine 5.5.4. Today's video is all about this. Let's get started. So guys, we are right now in Epic Games Marketplace and uh, first of all, you need to use this samples pack. So it is called Electric Beams and Environment. Once you click, it will redirect to your website, which is called Fav and you can find out this environment which looks absolutely premium so what you need to do you need to just download it and you need to open this project in unreal engine once it's open you can see something right this in front of you now before moving forward you need to create one more project in another unreal engine where you want to place your assets because we are right now going to copy all these assets from this to that project so you just select to this assembly and go here, press Ctrl A and then right click and you need to click this migrate option. Now once you click this migrate option, you can find out all the blueprints checked here. Make sure you should check everything. Now press OK. So it will open your browser where you want to save your this migrate projects. So you need to find out your that temple project file, which is this right now. So just need to go to this content folder. And here you need to press this select folder. Once you do this, it will take a lot of time to copy all these blueprints from this to your current template. And once it will successfully done, you can now open your own project file. Also, you can close this Unreal Engine as well. So now we are in a new Unreal Engine project where I already copied this. You can see this assembly folder. You can find everything right in front of you. Now, it might take a lot of time to load once you drag and drop this into your scene. But don't worry, it's normal. Once you drag and drop one time, it will not load for the second time. Let me show you one example. If I just drag and drop, you can see it will stuck. And now, boom, it's here. So I already used this asset from my last video. So if I will do any other asset like this one, if I will just drag and drop, you can see one pop up will hear that the preparing shaders and all and trust me it will take five to six minutes to load this asset and again once it will load it will not take that much time from the next time once you load it again and now you can see it's here and the fun part is it's have a same quality details which already have that project file so now you can use it in your own projects so now let's create a unique projects with very simple assets so go to file new level and I'm just creating an empty level. Press create and don't save. Now go to content, need to create a folder. So this I have already created called temple. So just right click new folder and name it tutorial and enter it. So now whatever I'll do, I'll save it here. So firstly, you need to save this project file. Just press save, go to this tutorial and name it tutorial and press save it. We need to go to this windows and environment light and mixer and just create a very basic simple setup go down turn on volumetric fog so this is a very basic simple setup now select everything and drop this into a folder and now we need to create a landscape so go to the selection mode go to this landscape you can find something like this now we don't create any landscape from the scratch because we are using a height map so go to from the file import from the file and you can browse your height map so just browse it so here I have one height map over here. I'll attach this into my description. You can go and download. Just double click. So you can find something like this. Okay. So what you need to do, just click this fit to data. And now in Z axis, I'll just make it to two so that it will create a very roughy edges. Now press import. And now we have something like this. If you notice, in the center area, it's little up, but I don't want that. I want it's little down so that I can create the watery effects over here. So if I click normally, it will boost this up, but I don't want that. So instead, what I'll do, I'll press shift. And now once I click, you can see it's getting inside something like this. So no need to do it very roughly. It just make it little down so that you can create some watery effects. Now go to your selection tab. So you have successfully created our landscape where you can place the water right here now increase the camera speed little bit high so that you can move it very fastly so now before moving forward you need to add a ground texture so i have already downloaded one texture for Scan for the ground 
so which can find here make a scan and just simply click this material instance now you have all the materials which including the textures like the trees the foliages and the grounds as well so click here you can find this called 3d assets 3d plants decays and the surface once you click the surface these are all the ground surface you can use this for project so let's try with this one simply drag and drop and now you can notice it's too highly tiled so just double click and type here til and you can find this called tiling simply make it to 0.1 by 0.1 and now press save so now we have a texture with very less tiling effect now no need to worry about because all these textures will not visible after your render so now let's do some environmental stops now turn this off and turn on this blueprint class and go to this assembly now you can find all the blueprints right in front of you now for this scene we don't need too much assets because everyone thought about like if you use too much assets it will good but trust me so what i do i'll just use first this one simply drag and drop and just by using spacebar you can toggle between all this now increase the scale a little higher because for this we need a higher scale density now rotate this and let's push it a little down position it and make it here now before moving forward you need to make your camera angle first because otherwise you're doing unnecessary task so click here and create camera create cine camera actor and now you can see everything right from here just pin it and from here select dslr and let's make it to 50 millimeter or let's say 35 millimeter or 30 millimeter so which looks perfect for the scene now whatever you will do it will update here now let's do the lighting little bit change so by pressing ctrl l you can change the directions of the light now simply select this let it go down so that we don't have any uh, gaps here now you can press ctrl and d to duplicate and just simply drag it and just rotate this completely in 360 so now it feels like a different assets yes this is the power of this assets now just increase the shape slightly so that it will not look exact similar and just push it little down and then alt duplicate also you can use ctrl d for duplicate and then simply rotate it again in this directions now if you notice all three assets are same but it looks completely different now just rotate in this axis now let's use another asset let's use this one simply drag and drop and once it here just click and by pressing the space bar just increase the shape and now let's rotate this so that it will here and now just again reposition it now this asset is one-sided assets so for this what you need to do simply select anyone from here press alt and drag so now it will helps you to fill the background area so let me show you how so just go here make a positions let's say this one and i'll just attach with this so that it not feel like an empty asset it's feel like a filled asset okay great now again you can use this assets for here as well simply rotate it also you can make it little down rotate in this axis also in this axis and just release it so that it feels a little weird but a little unique now i'm going to use one more asset for this so total we have three assets so simply drag and drop this one and let's scale this size and place it here now i want this to little foreground object so that people can stand here like this kind of a thing so just zoom it so that you can understand where your assets are exactly placed and again i'm just going to duplicate this and i'm just placing it here something like this so now it looks perfect for the scene like a foreground object of you in a fast forward mode because otherwise it will take a lot of time and you might get bored all right as you can see we have successfully created some kind of a scene like this and it's visible right from this from the camera so now let's add the watery surface so to do that what i'll do i'll just click here go to the shapes and i can find this called clean so now increase the shape size to let's say 500 percent so there is no gaps between the water and the edges so just little push it up so this will create the water so, okay so to do a water material no need to do anything just go to this all turn off this and click this material instance and type 
water because Unreal Engine provides a default water system, which is a pool one and MI pool two and one. So just simply select drag and drop the second one to here. And now you can see some kind of a realistic water, which is here. But before moving forward, we need one object in center. So what I'll do, I'll use one tree assets to place this in center so that it can create an object kind of a thing which can focus here. Also, I'll use that other trees to kidvas the entire area to get some more realisticness. So going down, you can find this BP tree. Simply drag and drop to this here. And after that, let's scale this at size here and great. Just zoom it here. You can find this tree is exactly perfect for the scene. Now push it a little down so that it will be inside of this water. And now I'm using the same tree to kidvas the entire area. All right, we are done now. Let's jump into the camera view. Let's see how it is exactly look like. So go to this and camera view. So if you notice the camera, it's too harsh lighting. So what I need to do, just click here, go to volumetric effects or visual effects and then press this post process volume. And now firstly, turn on this infinite bound, extended bound, simply turn this on. Now go to this exposure settings and simply turn on this and turn this to and make it to one by one so that you can lock this exposure so if you want to increase the exposure you can use this right from here so for this scene i'm using 0.8 now going down you can turn on this chromatic aberration so increase the intensity to one so that you can find out some chromatic aberration and you can increase this assets offset as well so just decrease it low like say 0.5 and now let's work on the lighting and the environmental fog so if i'll rotate the lighting once again so it can create a dramatic change in front of you. So it's all research and development so that what type of lighting are exactly suitable for this scene. You need to find out that. So now let's do the volumetric fog effect. So simply click this exponential height and fog. And once you move it little up, you can find out the fogs getting increased. I want the fog should here. So I'll just move it little up. And now going down, you can find this called scattering distribution. Once you decrease it, you can find out the fog getting disappear. So just let it down here. And let's increase the scale value a little bit so that you can find a little more fog over here. And that's perfect. And if you decrease the view distance, it can actually decrease the fog in front of you and it's create a fog in depth. And yeah, that's it. Now let's create a level sequence. So click here, add a level sequence and save this for the tutorial folder, save it and simply drag the camera to here and now simply select the camera to transform the first frame go to the last frame now for this scene little little subtle movement and just make another keyframe and right click linear and now once you play now you can see something really cool environment in front of you using very simple assets with a dramatic camera angle and if you really enjoyed this video subscribe to our channel world of vfx myself rajat see you in my next video till you can do comments at what kind of videos you guys are actually looking for see you next time take care bye bye